Hey guys, I wanted to make this video and really talk about investing in sealed product. Now we're going to talk about Alpha Investments. He is the biggest proponent of investing in sealed product, be it MetaZoo, be it Magic the Gathering, be it uh, Forza Will, Weiss, Pokemon. I mean, he basically does everything minus Disney Locana. I think he does sorcery now. He did Flesh and Blood. I don't know if he's still doing Flesh and Blood. Prayers for the Flesh and Blood community if he's still pumping Flesh and Blood out there. But at the end of the day, he was tasked to celebrate 6.9 anniversary. And he could make a box of anything. He could make a box of vintage magic. Of MetaZoo promos, which he chose to do. Of uh, flesh and blood promos, of uh, vintage, maybe even one in ten of these would have like a Rudy promo card from flesh and blood worth a thousand dollars. But so instead of doing this, he hosed his Patreons. Uh, I don't think anyone, you know, has a positive experience opening, you know, a few years later. So the idea of sealed product is you keep it sealed and it goes up in price. Well, uh, it turned out that this $700 product plus a $15 monthly fee, right? So it's slightly more than that has gone down to oblivion. Um, and let's just talk about exactly how much it's gone down to. There was a recent eBay. The most recent eBay auction was for $255 shipping extra. So we'll take away shipping. eBay fees are down to $220 at least. So this guy bought it for 700 did exactly what Rudy said, kept it sealed. And honest to God, there cannot be many of these sealed. Let's just, uh, most people open it as soon as they got it, and many of them put them on YouTube. I can't imagine sealed there is that many of them. So we would expect the scarcity thing to go up in value, right? At the very least, right? Um, but it doesn't. So what is there left to say about a product where... It is made by the greatest sealed, and I give Rudy credit. He is the he has the heaviest bags, um, of all time. He could pick boosters and wise cards from just he has an arsenal of incredible sealed product and singles like dual lands and and so on that he could have put into this product. But so the greatest mind in uh, sealed product investment is tasked to make a $700 product. Now, mind you, and we're going to make videos about this a little later, he was very mad at Wizard of the Coast for making a $1,000 product called Magic 30th. Um, if I go on eBay right now, I don't actually know what Magic 30th goes to, but Magic 30th, um, and let's do a sealed box. I would be shocked if that didn't hold value. Um, so let's go to Advanced. Oh, I'm already on sold listing. Uh, don't see many sealed boxes. It looks like, oh, here one, here's one. It's sold March 10th. It's for $943. So this $1,000 product has lost a little bit of money. You know, it, it went from 1000 to 943 with free shipping. So maybe the seller gets 900 Maybe they lost 10%. Well, compared to Alpha Investments $700 product that has now sold for $255, you know, one of these products has done substantially better. And this is auction, eBay. This is what I, I view as legitimate. Now, you might be like, oh, there's a private sale. And some Rudy Chan, Timmy bought it for. No, I don't believe in that because a private sale. I've seen private sales go down. <laughs> I've actually seen. You know, part of it is the, the, the biggest thing in private sales is you don't actually know how much is trade and how much is cash. Surprisingly, very little cash is ever put into private sale. It's mostly trade. And then the announcement is, oh, this card is worth a million dollars when it was really 900000 in trade. You can, uh, for verification of this, you can actually go to Sasa T's video and see the half a million dollar Charizard only involved $100,000 in cash total. So it was this half a million dollar charge art, but it was mainly trade and then the increase in value, right? And the same thing with Black Lotus. I actually watched Daniel Chang. Um, he talked about a trade to me uh, about a trade that he was doing for a Black Lotus PSA 10 
signed 10, autograph auto 10, the 20 essentially. And most of it was actually in trade. But when they announced it, it's all in cash. Or they, they, they want it to meet, they want it to seem like, oh, it's a uh, $400,000. And you would immediately think, oh, that's all, that's got to be cash, right? And it's like $10,000, $20,000 cash. It's like Shasha T and a half a million dollar trade for a Pokemon Charizard first edition B PSA 10. It was only 100K in cash. That was it. There you go. So, um, another thing that I really want to uh, harken on here is, yeah, you have the greatest guy um, make, you know, he, he is the sealed master. If anyone would know how to make a sealed box valuable a year, two years, ten years from now, it would be alpha investment, right? Um, but he made the box so you actually had to open it because there was like a redemption and the redemption was more meta zoo play mats or kits and and had an expiration date. I thought that was really weird. Um, this tells you that you should never invest in steel boxes, especially now. Um, they just don't have anything good in them. Like, you know, it just simply does not have anything good. You, you look at a $700 product become $255 in the span of less than two years you and and you know the product is majority of the product hits are meta zoo cards right because you everyone gets a meta zoo hit go a special gold medal that doesn't even do five or ten dollars now on ebay um they knew what they were doing but at the time they had more money i bet you they need that 700 dollars or i guess the delta is 500 if they do sell it Assuming they kept it sealed. I mean, if it's unsealed, it's basically worthless. Um, but assuming they kept it sealed, they will normally have to take a $500 loss after investing for two years. Had you put that $700 into Bitcoin, again, I'm not a big fan of crypto, but just saying if you put in Bitcoin, S&P 500, NVIDIA, I mean, I mean, yeah, I... I you know, it's, I'm cherry picking, but the S&P 500, I wouldn't cherry pick that. That seems like a pretty legitimate source, right? Um, it is pretty uh, interesting in terms of the value of this box. And I can tell you um, that in terms of investment, this is not it. You don't buy something for $700 a share. Let's call it a share. Some people bought four of these and hope that it goes to 200 or 220 or whatever it is right now you're hoping it goes up like <laughs> i know this is very very big news for the timmies you're hoping that when you buy something and you hold it and you keep it sealed the product will actually go up not that and, and there are very few things maybe arc invest probably is like one of the only stocks right that have trended as down as as uh Alpha investment six point his six point nine kit. Remember, it's made by a guy who you know it's fifteen fifty for a whole box of pins and the dice and you know I mean it's once it hits auction you realize that hey this stuff isn't what worth anything. Anyway, I know it's very controversial, but I want to make sure that you understand the guy who is the king of steel product made a product and it lost what 60, 70 percent. 